Let me just uh, pass uh, the floor and the question to Ms. Samonaki based on the institutional role that uh, the operator of the REST origin, um, guarantees of origin has. Uh, what is there, what is your stake in terms of the PPAs and the CFTs? I would like to thank you for the invitation for organizing this forum. I would like to start my um, statement by stating, um, um, by talking about the um, REST operator, the operator of REST and uh, guarantees of origin. Most recently, in uh, October 2nd, 2023, uh, the AIB Hub is uh, now incorporating our IT. We can uh, import uh, guarantees of origin, whereas the export of guarantees of origin will start in January 2024. Uh, within the first uh, half of 2023, um, REST origins stand at 10 million euros. 10 million. You can see the um, installation registry here and the uh, GO certificates as well as the guarantees of origin. in terms of uh, the electricity market reform in the wake of the high prices as a result of the Russian um, uh, war of aggression in Ukraine. It all started with the direct measures taken uh, to tackle the crisis. Mm. And subsequently, actions were taken to reshape the electricity market on the 14th of March, following the process uh, up to 19 October 2023. The Council has um, um, provided their opinion to the European uh, Parliament. The um, The revision of the regulation lays down uh, decoupling the consumer prices from short-term markets, um, the enhancement of the market for PPAs, uh, strengthening the flexibility of the system of the electric uh, of the electricity system through storage and uh, demand response schemes, um, speeding up uh, renewable energy source development. CFTs, as well as uh, stronger protection for consumers through differentiation of uh, tariffs. Uh, we have uh, a stronger protection of uh, vulnerable consumers. And there is an option to regulate prices at uh, the European and regional level. In terms of uh, um, this area, has been opted in for a regional energy use. CFDs relate to new electricity installation, repowering uh, and uh, extension of life. Uh, it uh, starts three years after the regulation has entered into force. Namely, while well, the regulation is uh, going to be ratified, is expected to, to be ratified by the Parliament by the end of this year, the, uh, there is auctioning uh, earnings in terms of high energy prices are channeled to the consumers who are benefiting from that or are channeled to the funding of costs that will ultimately result in lower costs. In terms of PPA contract, PPAs, the regulation and the regulatory framework reiterate, the, the regulation reiterates the need to 
lift obstacles for PPAs, promotes and ensuring measures to avert risks related to the default of uh, buyers. There are state uh, guarantee systems or systems uh, for PPA energy aggregation. But these systems are not provided for fossil fuel based energy production. They should also entail terms that allow consumers and producers to opt out. There uh, is uh, clauses uh, to leave an agreement. A very interesting regu uh, provision is, uh, con is um, managing risks for the suppliers. The suppliers will have hedging tools available, PPAs, will be boosted through this uh, provision and there is a special provision if the PPA market is developed and this is stressed states can ask the supplier to cover a share of the price in the variable tariff through PPAs <coughs> matters needing attention <coughs> in relation to the rest PPAs are flexibility of the contracts that can cater for um, the duration for other um, factors that are changing risks related to non-performance through the provision of guarantees <coughs> should be covered risks related to the shift in the regulatory framework that um, influence uh, the terms of the PPAs should be addressed. Many speakers uh, um, talked about that. Um, connection conditions for uh, suppliers that want to enter into PPAs or are willing to enter uh, into PPAs. Well, here one should uh, look into whether priori priorities should be set depending on the timeline of a project. Um, what was discussed by the previous speakers should also be addressed, namely the effects because of the curtailment of uh, res injection and possibly consider whether PPAs, PPA, uh, whether projects that have concluded PPAs should be exempted, uh, the um, competition should be um, maintained, and the energy produced should indeed be uh, certified as green energy. The um, respective guarantees of origin should be issued. Uh, in terms of the issue and uh, wave of the guarantees of origin, one should uh, be registered with the registry. Now, in the context of its competences, DAPEP is uh, managing the register that has more than 27,000 uh, plants. It also concludes the agreements for the remuneration. It manages the ELAPE account for RES. The, it also uh, carries out the clearance uh, monthly 20,000 contracts uh, of which uh, 4,000 are uh, CFD type contracts. It settles more than 1.5 million um, accounting uh, documents and it carries out the clearance, the settlement of uh, charges of uh, electricity, electrical energy suppliers. 
It manages state aid, that is carbon leakage for energy intensive industry, which is a special platform. It uh, is responsible, DAPEP, that is, for the reduced ETMEAR, which is a special platform. It also manages uh, the uh, subsidies uh, to the energy transition fund. Why am I saying this? This is all known to you. I'm just trying to uh, illustrate that DAPEP is uh, closely working together with every uh, one involved in a res ppa and it is in the position to operate to manage the ppa platform once it has been put in place.